guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another Drugstore Tuesday. This is Drugstore Tuesday number 6. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this look using all drugstore products. There are going to be some drugstore products that I use in this video that you guys have seen in previous videos. And there are going to be some products that are new to my collection that were specifically for this video. And I'm going to be testing them out. And at the end of the video, I will give you guys a review on whether they were good products, how they worked out, and if I recommend them to you guys. So definitely stay tuned for that. And let's go ahead and just jump into this tutorial. So I already went ahead and moisturized my skin. My skin is actually feeling very, very dry right now because we all of a sudden got this like cold weather back in like May. So I mean my skin is kind of like very, very dry in like this general area. So I moisturized plenty before filming and now I'm going to go ahead and prime with my NYX pore filler. This is one of my favorite primers because it leaves my skin feeling very smooth. And for foundation, I'm using this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous foundation. This will be my first time using it. And I'm just applying it onto my mixing tray. By applying it, it seems like really runny. And this foundation says it's oil-free and it says it's one simple step for a flawless natural look that lasts all day formula blends easily into the skin and reduces shine all day oil free won't clog pores suitable for sensitive skin lasts all day so it doesn't say if it's um matte i don't think it's gonna be matte but we shall see and i already went ahead and applied the foundation with my stippling brush so now i'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out with my eco tool sponge i do notice that this foundation blends out really nicely and I think I got a shade too dark and it feels pretty lightweight and a little bit of this foundation seems to go a long way so the foundation blended out really nicely. I have a lot of dry patches around my nose and like this general area and it did a really good job of like covering them up and not making them look like really dry and like cakey. And overall the foundation looks really nice. So now for concealer, of course I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Outlast All Day Concealer. This has become probably one of my favorites for like everyday use. And to set my under eye and the rest of my face, I recently purchased this number 7 translucent perfect light loose powder. And I'm just going to use this to set my under eyes and the rest of my face. And now I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows with my favorite drugstore light powder. It's the Kiss brow powder and wax like kit in medium brown so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the eyes i'm going to be using this maybelline the nudes eyeshadow palette i've actually never used this before really like I've owned it for a while but I just never really dipped into it so today we're gonna go ahead and use it for our eyeshadow so the first shade I'm gonna go in with is this like taupey color right here and I'm just gonna be working that into my crease and I actually forgot to put on my shadow shields today so we're really gonna be testing how much fallout this eyeshadow palette has so it has pretty nice pigmentation. It isn't too, like, overly dark. It is a nice, like, light taupey shade. So it's working pretty well. And now I'm just going to deepen up the outer portion with this, like, deep chocolate color. Kind of bringing it into the outer crease a little bit. Working it into the outer corner. Really blending that out. And getting a clean brush and kind of further blending that shade out which is quite pigmented actually and I'm just gonna take the two shades I use so this one and this one and apply it on my lower lash line 
working like the lighter transition color into the inner part of the eye and then the darker one on like the outer corner and I am going to be taking a little bit of that black and applying it onto the outer corners as well and for the lid I'm going to be using this L'Oreal infallible eyeshadow and it's in the shade Iced Latte. This is actually my first time using this. I just purchased this. And I'm just going to go ahead and dip my finger in there. And wow, that's really pigmented. So let's see how it applies onto the lid. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend out the edges. Maybe use glitter glue with this type of shadow but it does look really pretty. And for a brow bone highlight, I'm gonna be using the one that came in my little Kiss eyebrow kit. And I'm actually gonna use that as my inner corner highlight as well. And for the lower lash line, I'm also going to be using this Prestige eyeliner in the shade Kiwi. It's such a pretty emerald green color. Okay, so I already applied wing liner. I used my normal products, my NYX Liquid Matte Liner. It's probably one of my favorite liners. And the mascara was the Lash Princess Volume Mascara. The one I use is in the blue, like the black and blue, and it's lengthening, I believe. I used it. I think it did a pretty good job of, like, volumizing my lashes. I kind of wanted more length, but, I mean, my lashes do look pretty good. So I'm kind of really liking this, like, as of right now. So moving on to the face, I'm using this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Palette. And I forgot I wanted to use this to set my under eyes, but it will. And this one's in the shade Dulce de Leche. It's a pretty smooth powder. I've already, like prior to starting YouTube, I had already used up like two of these. So I really know that I <laughs> love this product. But it's actually my first time using it on camera because every time I would go to the drugstore, they would have like the darker one, which doesn't work for me so I wouldn't purchase it and the other day I was at Walgreens and I saw that they finally had it back in stock so I purchased it <laughs> and for blush I'm going to be using a newer product this is the wet n wild color icon ombre blush in the shade the princess Aquarius, I believe hmm. so it's a pretty light color it's not really giving off a lot of like pigmentation so this is a buildable blush which I personally don't mind because I don't like sometimes there's blushes that you even if you have a light hand with them it gives you like really vibrant cheeks so I kind of like it to be buildable it's a really pretty color and I'm actually gonna bake with my number seven loose face powder this is the first product I try from them and I'm not quite sure how I feel, so I want to see how this product works for baking. And for highlight, I'm so happy. I finally got my hands on the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in the shade Precious Petals. It's actually really beautiful, and that cute little flower design is uh, so pretty. So let's see how this highlight works. So excited to use it. Oh yes, this is such a beautiful highlight. And for lips, I'm going to be using another Prestige Cosmetics product. This is their lip liner in the shade Silk. And to go over top of that, I'm going to be using this Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lip in the shade 02 gray envy so it's like a really mauvey color okay so this is the final look i'm actually really in love with how it turned out even though the lip color is pretty 
like dark for my personal liking. So let's go ahead and do an overview of all the products that were new that I used. And so let's start off with the foundation. The foundation, I'm actually really surprised. Like CoverGirl has really been surprising me lately. That was a brand that I would never go towards. And all of a sudden now I own like two of their foundations, a setting powder that I absolutely love and a concealer as well. And I'm actually really surprised with how this foundation looks. It's lightweight. It's, I want to say, say light to medium coverage I feel like it wasn't a lot of coverage but it, it's enough to cover my redness but if you have like more than just redness and like a lot of even if you have a lot of texture it kind of covered mine because I normally don't have really bad like textured skin but I have a lot of dryness right here and it did not emphasize it at all so really loving this and for setting powder I'm unsure Honestly, I'm unsure about how I feel about this number seven setting powder. There was an area around like my eye where I felt like it sat for a little too long and when I wiped it away, it kind of like, I don't know, it kind of looked weird. Like, I don't really know how to explain it, but if you just dust it all along your face, not like for setting your eyes, and even for baking, it looks good, but just for under my eyes, maybe because my skin's dry, I feel like it didn't look that great. So I'm going to continue using this product, and I'll probably let you guys know in a favorites how I feel about it. For eyes, it was my, like, real first time using this Maybelline The Nudes palette. I feel like if you want like a simple like everyday kind of eyeshadow palette this is pretty good the pigmentation is nice i did not use the shimmers in it i just used the matte shades and i think it's pretty good i probably won't reach for it as much because i mean there aren't a lot of matte shades in it there's only five and there really isn't like a very like nice transition color the one i used is this and even then that's kind of dark for my liking so it's like a nice basic palette i'm not sure if i'll continue using it i know my mom would probably love it so i'll probably be handing it to her the shimmer i have on my lids is l'oreal infallible eyeshadow in the shade what are you ice latte uh I'm very surprised with like how pretty this is. I've had heard a long time ago like people talking about these but I never went and picked them up and they were on sale at like Walgreens I believe and so I got it and I think I'm gonna go back and get like the other one that I was kind of like on the fence about because it's a very nice shimmery shade. It doesn't have like a lot of fallout and it stays in place really nicely and I also want to try this out with glitter glue to see if it like really makes it pop even more but it's a beautiful shade. For mascara I use this S since Lash Princess Volume Mascara. Honestly, I'd have to wear it for a little longer to see if it has like flakiness and how my lashes look. I think they look pretty good. I like how my lower lashes look a lot, but like my top ones, I look for a lot of length. And I feel like it gave me a nice amount of length, but not a lot like the lengthening one, which I totally understand. I'll still continue using this. But um, my lashes just look good, but the lengthening one makes them look like really, really good, like amazing. And for face, so I've already mentioned that I've purchased multiple ones of these and I love it, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. It's a very creamy, smooth powder. It's like less than $5. They have multiple shade ranges, so if you're very light medium and I believe to darker skin tones they cater to you which is amazing especially because of the price powders are very smooth buttery um they apply very nicely they blend really good I love this color for like bronzing contouring I mean it is kind of warm to contour with it but I don't tend to contour I just kind of bronze and that's about it and I really love it I completely forgot to set my under eye with this but it's a really great setting powder as well, so love this. And the blush, I think it's pretty. And I think if you're into subtle blushes, go purchase it because it's under like three, four dollars. Wet n Wild is such a great brand for affordable makeup, and it's makeup that lasts and looks great on your skin. And the pigmentation, the creaminess, like everything is there. And with this blush, I mean, if I were to swatch, let me swatch it. Like, it looks like nothing. Like, I don't even think you guys can see it. But it, when you build it up onto your skin, it gives you kind of like a light color of like flesh. It's like a pinky color. And I normally don't go for like very pink. I kind of like more of a peach. But with this one, it's an exception. It's very pretty. And 
I mean, I love that it's buildable. And as for this Wet n Wild highlight, it is beautiful. I totally recommend it. They have two shades for like the Mega Glow highlighter and I think it's really pretty. I'm very happy I got my hands on it. Like this highlighter is so pretty and I think it's perfect for like the hotter months. Like just the tone of it, I think that's what makes it so like pretty. And for lips, I had already mentioned the lip liner. I think I've used this in a tutorial before, the Prestige lip liner and this is in the color Silk. Um, I like their lip liners. They um, give off a really nice color and they last a pretty long time. So I mean, this one's just probably my favorite color, Silk. And the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lip in the shade 02 Grey Envy like has me falling in love with like this entire look. I think this lip color kind of tied the look together in my opinion. I really like it. It's completely out of like what I would normally wear but I mean I love trying new things and this lip color to me is just so pretty and let me swatch it so you guys can actually get like a better glimpse of it. And what I like more is the formula. Like, Maybelline did such a great job with this formula. So, that's pretty much it. This wraps up this Drugstore Tuesday. I believe this is my Drugstore Tuesday number six. I really hope you guys enjoyed how I did this look and the products I used. Let me know down below if there's any products from the drugstore that are new or that I should try out or you guys want to see in like a Drugstore Tuesday video. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!